quick revision video on Hess's law of cycles involving enthalpy changes of combustion. Basically what we're going to look at is how would you calculate the delta H value for this reaction here A to B using enthalpy changes of combustion values. So the first thing I would do is create what I call a combustion cycle. So in other words we combust everything in the equation that we want to find the enthalpy change for into their combustion products. So this arrow here obviously represents the sum of the enthalpy changes of combustion of the reactants and the other arrow, this one here, represents the enthalpy changes of combustion for the products. So if we bring Hess's law into play now, so Hess's law states that if a reaction can take place by two routes, the overall enthalpy change for each route is the same, provided that the starting and finishing conditions are the same which is the case here, we've got A to B directly, so that's one route, or we could go this way, so we'll call it the blue route. So you can see the arrow direction, well this arrow here, the combustion of the reactants is going in the correct direction for this blue route, but this one here is going in the wrong direction, so all we need to do is flip that round, and we do that by subtracting it from that one. So the formula we're going to use, the delta H question mark, is the sum of the enthalpy changes of combustion of the reactants, remember the arrow is in the right direction, but we're subtracting this one because it's going in the wrong direction, so minus the sum of the enthalpy changes of combustion of the products. So we'll put that into practice now with this question here. So we're going to calculate the enthalpy change of formation of pentane given the following enthalpies of combustion. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm writing the equation that represents the enthalpy change of formation of pentane. So in other words, this is our AB equation. This is what we want to find the enthalpy change for. And because these are all delta HC values, enthalpies of combustion, we're combusting everything in the um, reaction, the AB reaction, so we've got the combustion products there. So this arrow here represents the sum of the enthalpy change of combustion of the reactants. So these two things here added together. So that's 5 times minus 393 because there's 5 moles of carbon in the equation. These values are just per mole. And 6 times minus 286. So that gives us a total of minus 3681. And then this one here is a bit simpler because we've only got one mole of uh, C5H12, so it's just minus 3509. Bring the formula into play, reactants minus products, and then put the numbers in. Just be careful with signs, and you get an answer of minus 172 kilojoules per mole. 